Hello and welcome. Please give a like and subscribe. If you are new here, thanks for popping in. Hit the notification bell if you find this helpful or interesting and you will be notified of the next video release. Today I am talking about VEET. It is spelt V-I-T-E but it is pronounced V-E-E-T. So what is VEET? VEET is the next generation front end tool. And we'll get to what it is and we're, we'll go through kind of this, some of this documentation here in a minute. But for now, let's, uh, I wanna show you guys what it is, right? Let's just get right into it and show me what it is. What does it do? So um, I've created this project uh, folder here and I just called it V Tutorial and I have NPM installed. I'm just gonna do NPM uh, create Vite at latest. And you'll see that it, this is similar to initializing a package.json. It wants a project name, my cool project, and a package name. We'll just leave that the default. And now you'll see here already how this differs from like a Create React app. I get to choose a framework. So you can choose any of these frameworks, vanilla, Vue, React, Preact, Light, Svelte and others and then uh, let's go with react or pick whatever you want and then you can also choose between a uh, JavaScript or TypeScript so again pick whichever you'd prefer I'm gonna go with JavaScript so you see already how this differs from create react app in that uh, this is available for uh, multiple frameworks and JavaScript and TypeScript uh, built functionality built in right if you wanted to use TypeScript with um, Create React App, you'd have to install additional stuff and uh, use the special you know, TypeScript version of this and that. Don't have to do that with Vite, so that's super handy. Um, now that we're done, uh, we have to go into our cool project and just do an NPM install. And that's just installing inside of the project the uh, modules required to run it and then uh, another major thing here uh, well, well let's um, I'll, I'll pause that let's open this up in VS code if you don't have VS code go install it or something similar you need to be using an actual IDE to develop um, so let's open up this and take a look here now if you've created <laughs> created a create react app before um, you'll notice right away something quite different. And what that is, is you'll notice that the index file is not buried inside of this public blah, 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 blah. It's right here uh, inside the main project folder. And that is because Vite does not, um, does not keep it buried because it considers it, uh, sorry, it considers it it to be just as important as the other files as it should be right I mean when we create these applications what are we talking about we're talking about uh, JavaScript CSS and HTML and why do we use tools we use tools because um, we have to bundle together all of our code into essentially one giant long string and we've come a long way with other um, you know technologies out there that help us with that such as like webpack um, but we have to have those tools because um, putting all of those pieces together would be uh, you know near impossible by yourself you have to have something to help you and so you know like webpack would go through and grab those little pieces uh, for you and put them together Th this is essentially what Vite is replacing and, and let's go we'll go, go look at the documentation here in just a second but let's um, Let's look at what else we have here. So we have an app.jsx, and uh, inside of here we just have a little counter, and then we've got an index.css that's giving us a couple of little styles, and then our main, and that is just our good old standard, you know, uh, insert the application into the element called root. And uh, for those that are new to uh, frameworks, uh, the, the, the way that a framework uh, operates is that you have an index file usually it's buried inside of your uh, folder hierarchy here and you can't find it anywhere uh, Vite doesn't do that to you 
uh, it's right here in the open as it should be since this is this is really what we're what we're working on here and you'll see that this div has an ID of root and so inside of our main.jsx what this is doing this is just vanilla JavaScript right and uh, we're getting the element by ID, we're grabbing that root, and we're rendering all of the JSX, which is our app, uh, inside of that div. So let's fire this up, and um, as we're doing that, I'm gonna point out another major difference with uh, Vite compared to uh, other tools, and let's do an npm run dev. And what I want you guys to pay attention to right now is just how fast this fires up I mean it's it's near instantaneous it's done right now you're gonna say oh well that's because there's not much there I will post a, another video um, in the future I'm in the process of converting a rather large application to uh, use Vite and for this reason um, it is not just I will tell you right now it's not just because there's not much there it is the way that Vite uh, serves your application and packages packages it together now for those that have used other uh, build tools uh, such as create react app you'll already know like this is this is fast uh, let's pull up uh, I'm gonna pull up uh, this and uh, let's fire up our uh, localhost 5173 and BAM there is our application our, our uh, react application powered by Vite and um, yeah so that's pretty cool let's take a look at that documentation though so why use Vite this kind of lays it out for you guys right go to vitejs.dev and you know in this getting started let's these are just the bullet points but essentially we have uh, instant server start like I just demonstrated and the reason why is because it's using native ESM modules, right? No bundles required. That's a huge, huge difference. And uh, we'll get into that uh, briefly here in a second. And then here's another one. So <clears throat> have you ever been working on a project and you make a change and for some reason it just takes a while for the for the hot reload to hit the, hit the browser? Well, that's not the case with Vite. It, it will be lightning fast every time. Uh, rich features, right? We have out of the box support for TypeScript, JSX and CSS. Okay, pretty much everybody does. Uh, but TypeScript, that's a big one. And TypeScript is huge these days. I'll be doing a video on that in the future. Uh, and then we have a pre configured uh, roll up build with multi page and library mode support, universal plugins, roll up superset plugin interface shared between dev and build. Have you ever worked on a project and development version is working just fine and then you go to build the actual application and oh look at that there's this problem and that problem and the other problem won't be the case with Vite why because they have universal plugins and a roll-up superset shared between them so no more oh it works in development but doesn't work for the actual build and then we have fully typed APIs flexible programmatic programmatic APIs with full TypeScript typing so for those that's a lot to take in for those that can already let that have been in industry for a while you might already be seeing like wow this is this is when they say that this is next generation you understand for those that are new trust me and trust those around you this is a big deal so let's just briefly look at the problems right before ES modules were available in browsers we had no native mechanism for authoring JavaScript in a modu modularized fashion okay and that's where uh, you know we started seeing things like webpack right because we needed something to go through and grab all of our files you know front-end applications uh, have become uh, huge right I mean you have to have you know hundreds sometimes thousands of modules installed and we had to have some sort of tool to go through and help us get all of the the modules together and uh, bundle them into you know the actual application so that's where webpack came in um, slow server start right this is one that I've run into with Gatsby applications Gatsby was 
you know, great coming out of the gate, but as soon as you start having, um, you know, the application take a, a more, once it gets more meat on the bones, right? Once it takes form and you're actually doing stuff in your application, that that uh, just firing up the development server could take minutes. And uh, that's certainly been the case for me in my last project, we used Gatsby. And uh, man, I wish that I would have known about Vite then. In fact, I'm not sure that Vite existed, but uh, if it did, I certainly would have used it. So, but what I want to get to is this, right? This, this graphic right here, uh, as you scroll down, this is really the, you know, one of the main reasons why Vite is so cool. So <clears throat> when you look at the bundle based version of, of a bundler, right, of a build tool, front end build tool, this is typically what things look like. Right, you have the entry, you've got routes, those routes get modules and everything gets put together into a bundle and then the server's ready, okay? Here, Vite is taking advantage of uh, the way that browsers work and essentially passing off some of that work to the browsers, which is like, who, who would have ever thought, like that? what a good idea. So here we have the server's ready, we have an HTTP request and then the entry, the entry splits to the routes and then the routes to the modules. Okay, do you, so whoever thought of that again, man, way to go, way to go. That was some really good thinking. So here they get into, um, they get into some of this. So about, you know, Vite leverages HTTP headers to speed up full page reloads, right? Letting the browser do the work as I was just talking about. So guys, come here and, and you can read the um, you can read the documentation in detail. But I wanted to cover just some of the biggest reasons why you should use this. This isn't just another run of the mill. You know, we've optimized this or that. We're talking about a completely different way of doing things as far as front end uh, building is is uh, is um, concerned. And so that's why I'm making a big deal about this. And that's why I wanted to do this video. And I hope that you guys, uh, I've given you guys enough information so that you are able to see why this really is a, the next generation of front end development for you guys. And I'm certainly going to be using this going forward. I'm not paid to say that. I'm not getting anything from, from Vite. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm aware of the differences and have been using this in some of my personal projects and uh, will be using it going forward and will be recommending this in, to all of my clients. So that is what I have for you guys for today. Uh, stay tuned because the next video is going to be on email JS. For those that don't know what that is, it is a client only emailing service. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. I'm just dropping it dropping it here for you guys today, right? So first I've just changed your life with Vite. And the next time that you need to send an email, no more Node.js layers, no more backend, no more a uh, API calls uh, in your front end to a back end, client side only. Send an email right from your JavaScript, right from your React application. So stay tuned for that one. Head over to my website, consultingninja.tech. Hit that like and subscribe, notification bell, click, 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 and you will be notified of the next video release. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.